November day. On mornings like these, we disturbed the red whiteheads, content as the hares played and the crows perched on their backs. We marched them to the gate through a pocket of dawn fog. The neighbors, cattle curious, followed them to a street corner. <coughs> they leaped and raced down the road, sentries posted at all the gaps. When a pigeon fluttered in the hedge, they were scared into the bog. Bikes abandoned in the briars, we leaped over the ditch and galloped up the hill as the train from Westport trundled by. At the crossroads we meet Mikhail, leading a dry cow with a halter, his black suit shiny with time, laden with his mother's instructions. <coughs> our space is outside Mrs. Murphy's house, our windowsill collected dung pyramids. Under the town clock we saw geese peer sideways through holes in canvas bags. One day we met coming from the fair Gillespie riding the mare with the cart empty behind, and Mikhail sleeping in the Volkswagen with the calf sucking his ear. Suspended on a barrel stool in McGing's, I saw a pale winter sunshine discover cornflakes and bags of oats as an old woman chewed tobacco under the stairs. Among the dark angular figures, my father has paid a few notes, peeled from a wad of twenties, with David's ghost smiling everywhere. <laughs>